Sure, you hey, can do we've it. got John here from Pentax. How are you, sir? I'm doing excellent, thanks. How is the show treating you? It's great. Um, I think uh, it's probably a little bit busier than last year. So is it? we're pretty excited. This is my first time. Jared comes all the time. This is my first time. Yep. I'm digging it. Yeah. It's like I'm like a kid in a candy store. Yeah. Even yeah. though I'm not a pro, I'm just an avid amateur. I see Jared can't even get his hands off of the equipment. You're I'm already trying to figure <laughs> out what this lens is. But I'm surprised you didn't sniff it yet, but I guess that comes later. A little bit later. Okay, yeah. all right. We have to okay. get to know each other first. <laughs> all right. So, John, tell us about, first of all, tell us about the Pentax lineup in general, and then we can talk about goodies you've got here. You know, Pentax is, has been in the, the photography business for years and years and years, well over 50 years. Um, and have, has always had a, a focus on DSLR, cam or not DSLR, SLR type cameras. Um, we're one of the first Japanese manufacturers with an SLR camera. Um, we've always excelled in lens coatings, so we've kind of got it all, have years and years of experience uh, in the photography business. So. Excellent. And I notice you've got, uh, speaking of SLRs in yes. general, you've got You've got an SLR there, and that looks like an SLR. Yeah. I don't know what that is, but that is small. That is the Q10. We just introduced what? this right before Photokina. Um, it's part of the smallest interchangeable lens system camera it, on the market. That um, is really tiny. What? What? Huh? Why are people going to use that? <laughs> what size sensor is that? Yeah, what? It's a one over two point three three inch um, backlit CMOS sensor. Point over the camera so that Dave can show it off. 1 over 2.33 inch backlit CMOS sensor. Um, we've got great 13 by 19 prints out of this camera because uh, while the sensor is, is relatively small, you have dedicated lenses that are, are designed specifically to give you excellent image quality for that, for that particular sensor. Tell us what kind sensor. of lenses you've got for it. We have six different lenses for this system. Um, we have a prime, equivalent to like a, a normal 50 millimeter lens, uh, a zoom, a wide angle zoom is equivalent to about a 28 to 80. Wow. Just introduced a zoom equivalent to about 80 to 200. We have a fisheye lens, and then we have two uh, what we call toy lenses. They they purposely leave distortion and lens flare, so you can kind of get that that toy effect in your images. We have a wide angle and a telephoto. Um, can you imagine, uh, Jared? You take that picture. I mean, take that thing with you. You could get a picture anywhere. Like it's yeah. it's very gorilla. You could kind of hide that behind your hand. It's like it's for little people. Yeah. It's yeah. for little people, everybody. <laughs> oh, uh, can you get a separate viewfinder? There is an optical viewfinder. There is um, that's matched to our our prime lens, um, but we wanted to keep it nice and small and compact, so we didn't go the electronic sure. viewfinder out. One thing I want to uh, show, uh, another accessory we just introduced, um, interchangeable lenses. We have the six built specifically for this camera, but we introduced a new adapter. So you can put our Pentax K-mount lenses um, that have been in production for 27 wow. years on this camera. That's um, like a, a seven times uh, factor? Walrus. Uh, 5.5 times. Oh, By the way, Walrus said would be great for kids learning photography if they have small hands also. Exactly, exactly. Well, that's a good yeah, point. and it's very easy to use. So you've got the automatic modes that you find on you know, most point and shoots, um, but it's also, you can grow with it. It's got manual modes, aperture priority, shutter priority, um, What kind of manual. price point are we looking at? You can get the Q10 with the standard zoom, the 2880 for 599. Okay. And Micro SD, 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 SDXC. Um, so video pretty, capability pretty uh, does 1080p video at 30 frames per second. Uses the H.264 compression. Uh, so it's, it's so very if you really want something small to take around, this is probably the smallest interchangeable uh, I've never, system out I've there. I've never it seen is one that small. It, it, is. it is. He just said it. It is the smallest interchangeable system out there. That's yeah. pretty In awesome. In fact, the only smaller interchangeable lens camera that's ever been produced um, was actually by Pentax in the film days. Um, it was the Auto 110. So kind of following in that heritage of, you know, we've been film. doing it. Alvin film. says, wow. better than any Sony NEX. And Sandy says, true. <laughs> Sandy said something. True, <laughs> true. It is better. Oh, oh, great for RC helicopter photography. That yeah. would be good for yeah, it. Definitely. Yeah, definitely. Very be good lightweight. All right, what else do we have here? Um, Pentax introduced it right before Photokina as well, um, the K52 and the K52S. Um, our pre predecessor to this, the K5, 
uh, was very well regarded in the photo community. Um, DxO Mark actually rated the sensor in the K5, the original, as the number one APS-C size sensor. It still has that ranking on wow. DxO. Um, so what we did is we looked at where we can make an improvement um, built around the same sensor. Because obviously if it's a great sensor, why, why change something that's... What I've seen with your sensors is the punchy colors that you get. Your contrast and colors are, are, are really, really good, and that's probably a combination of the lens quality and the sensor quality Correct. in Correct. there. Yeah, yeah. Again, you know, Pentax has been in the lens business for a very long time, and... Um, Hey, sorry, I have to interrupt. Hey, you guys, stop begging for the giveaway. We don't have one of these to give away. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody's like, oh, give one of those away. Yeah. Yeah, it is sorry. very awesome. <laughs> Just gave away a lens right. to my pocket because <laughs> it's so small. Nobody saw what it. What was the model number on that <laughs> small one again? That was a Q10. The Q10, guys. So somebody go put a link in there for everybody. <laughs> and uh, we're on to the other ones now. Okay, let's keep going. Um, so the K52 and the K52S, we looked at where we can make improvements. Uh, one was with the LCD. Um, uh, pretty much most of the LCDs out there on the market on, on, for reviewing your images on the back of the camera have a cover and then there's a little bit of a gap and then the actual LCD panel itself. So what we did Show with this... Show it off this, to Dave there a little bit, just kind of, yeah. What we did with this camera is we used a uh, scratch resistant glass LCD cover and then it's bonded to the LCD panel itself. So there's no little gap of air. We call it air gapless technology. Um, between what you're looking at and the LCD just makes the viewing experience much better. So that's a minor thing. The major thing is we improve the autofocus system on this camera. Um, it will focus in lower light than any other digital SLR on the market. It'll oh, well. focus down to minus three EV, mm, uh, wow. which is kind of inter interesting, you know, talking to, to, to people in the media, the, the guys that are testing these cameras in lab environments, their light meters don't go down to minus three EV. Wow. So this camera will actually focus in those low light conditions, which paired with the, uh, the high ISO capabilities with this camera, it's, it's pretty phenomenal. So if you're a caver, you definitely want to get one of these. Dig down. Well, it, it's interesting you say that because caves are pretty severe environments. Yeah. Um, this camera is also weather sealed. Oh. Uh, there's 72 seals throughout the body. Um, it's a magnesium alloy body, so it's it's tough. It's weather resistant, cave cave resistant. I mean, basically the only thing you don't want to do with this camera is dunk, dunk it, it underwater. But price range. Edge, What's that? What's the price on this one? This one, um, there's there's two models, the two and the two S. Um, the two is um, eleven ninety nine. The two S is twelve ninety nine. Uh, the difference between the two models is the two S removes the anti aliasing filter, so you get okay. that extra sharpness, yeah. extra res resolution. Um, you know, there's there's some drawbacks if you're shooting patterns, that kind of stuff. But that's all stuff you can yeah, you know, correct with software. So. And can we talk about this lens? Yes. Is this a medium format lens? This is a medium format lens. This is our new 90 millimeter for our 645 system. Um, the 645 was, it was showcased for about five years as a design or a, a concept model um, before we an actually introduced it about a year and a half ago, two years ago. Um, and we're slowly expanding the lens lineup. So this, this 90 adds to the 55 we currently have and uh, 25 millimeter lens. Um, so we have wide angle, normal, and a, a, a nice portrait lens. Um, something that this has added um, is a new HD coating, which is an improved coating above our SMC coating that we've used for, for a number of years. It's always been regarded as kind of a leader in the industry. Um, so this, this coating is even better. We have a little display in our booth that hmm. compares with side by side. So just clearer, crisper, sharper images. Um, it's also got shake reduction built into it. So the 645 is such a big format that you can't put it in the body like we have with the rest of our cameras. That's something so we didn't in. talk about in your other cameras, yes. that it's yeah. built in. You don't have to pay extra Correct. for the lenses that have the, yeah. you call it anti, what's that say? Reduction. Shake reduction. Yeah. I like to dance, you know, party rocking and <laughs> it, it would go. work well Perfect. for that. <laughs> exactly. Um, so it's in the, it's in the, the lens itself. Um, so great quality very usable. Um, and what I like to point out is you can get the 645 body, you can get the 55, the 25, and now the 90, all for less than you can buy any other medium format body only for. So you can get a full system, a full system. for, you know, it's a big number, it's $18,000, but 
a lot of the but other ready to format go. are $20,000 just for the bot. Feed. And do they even offer anti-shaking uh, lenses? Uh, not that I'm aware of. Because I haven't seen any on the on the medium formats that no. actually do that. Not, not that I'm aware of. So, so that's, that's pretty interesting. What's coming up next for you guys? What are you, that you can talk about? What, what direction are you guys going? Um, you know, it's, it's looking at the, where the growth is. I mean, they're, you know, DSLRs are doing great. Mirrorless cameras are doing great. You know, cameras like the Q10. Um, there's, there's a lot of opportunity where I, I think people are looking at their, their pictures they're taking with their, their iPhones and their Android phones and like, they're okay but I want a really great picture. I want something I can blow up or share, or, you know, that print, and we're building cameras that allow you to do that. So, you know, we're not, gonna, think, we're not gonna make a $100 point and shoot camera. Yeah. Um, we're gonna focus on that. the DSLRs, yeah. the nice compacts that offer great, great image quality. I think you're right. I think that now the camera phones mm -hmm. have replaced the entire low end of the spectrum. And, but and you know for some people they look at it like wow that just like totally cannibalized on a business but I think the other way to look at it is that makes it so much more accessible for everyone that the medium and high end is benefiting dramatically because yep. people who who just didn't take photos before now they take some and they're like wow that was really pretty awesome how do I do it better yeah and they have to they have to invest a little bit to do it better exactly now we are we are about out of time we do have one very important question okay. for you and they want to know is that a swatch watch <laughs> no it's a I, I'm not gonna pronounce a watch, right you it's a mundane it's a it's the clock that they use in the Swiss rail system oh, okay <laughs> oh, you right. mean the one that's on the iPhone the All one that's right. on the, the one that the Apple iPad. just had yeah. to they just had to pay a licensing fee for my sister lives in Switzerland and she, Can uh, I ask one more question? Or yeah, no? uh, go I'm ahead. allowed we, to ask one more? You are allowed. You have a whole line of uh, point and shoots as well. Yes? We have several. The rugged. You have the rugged we, cameras. We have the waterproof. Yeah. Because I saw over by the booth, you had a harness on it. Yep. Uh, yep. For what is, I'm assuming, like whitewater rafting and rafting all that good stuff. Rafting yeah. Because I remember you had one of the first uh, underwater type point and shoot cameras. Yeah, we're on our 13th generation of digital waterproof cameras, and then we had four or five in the film, film category. So we've been doing that for a long time. So we've got the ruggedized cameras um, that's, that's been a great category for us. So if somebody wants to take a trip down out to the islands, they need to pick one of those up so Absolutely. they can take pictures everywhere and go underwater and get us some video of... Uh, drop proof, crush proof. Whatever. So, cool. Very cool. Yeah. Thanks so much, John, for coming on. Thank we you. really appreciate you. you coming Just by. Leave the Q10 when appreciate you great it. stuff. Yeah, I love, I love it, love it, love it, and I think I am amazed by that little <laughs> little bitty bad boy. Jared, what wants to go around and take pictures with it? I do. I want to play with this. thing. All right. Well, you can play with it in a minute because whoa, we, it R2D2. <laughs> wow. Actually, that's not even oh, yeah, R2D2. But you know what that's wow. like? It's like Johnny Number Five. Yeah, it is. That's pretty <laughs> awesome. That's pretty awesome.